and welcome to RS Means Online and Release 7.9 Highlights. With Release 7.9 of RS Means Online, you can now create mixed estimates that include unit costs and assembly costs. You can merge unit cost and assembly cost estimates and utilize updated reports. Let's take a look at each of these. Here in my Manage Estimates tab of RS Means Online, you can see that I have a couple of unit cost estimates, a couple of assembly cost estimates. Up until now, these were separate, kept separate. As soon as you started an estimate, you chose which it was, and went from there and couldn't change back and forth. Now you have the ability to do that. For example, this roof repair estimate, it's a unit cost estimate. I'll open it up just by clicking on it. And you can see this is a unit cost estimate. I'll scroll down a bit here and you will be able to see the estimate itself, the estimate window with the line items, different types of brick, demolition, sheet metal flashing, quantities, and the source as unit cost. But if I get to a point in my estimate now, I could easily change my type to assembly cost. And now I could continue my estimate adding assembly cost to my estimate. Choose a footing or whatever it is you might need. Click the add to estimate button, go down, put my quantity for that assembly in, and you'll see that this is listed as an assembly. Perfect, save that estimate. Upon saving that estimate and going back to my Manage Estimates tab, you'll see that that estimate is now listed as an assembly unit cost estimate or a mixed estimate. You can do that with any estimate, unit cost or assembly cost. You can also merge unit cost and assembly cost estimates. For example, I can take this scaffolding estimate and I can merge it with this garage estimate. Take those two things, a unit cost estimate and an assembly cost estimate and choose to merge them. I click merge and it's going to tell me which two estimates I'm merging. I need to give it a name. Come down and give it an address. Save that estimate. This too will appear as a mixed estimate, assembly and unit cost. It is a combination of the two estimates. Now if I click on there, open that scaffolding garage estimate up, we'll see the unit costs and assembly costs included in that estimate. But also, we can take a look at our new updated reports. I click on report, I choose to do a merged assembly unit detail, assembly unit summary, or included the subcontracted lines, if I happen to have done that. I can choose to do a detailed report. I can put some percentages in and click preview. Adobe PDF will open up and show me my new estimate. Make this a little bit bigger for you. There we go. And we can scroll down a little bit and I can see that the report is going to separate the unit cost line items, showing them by division, of course, and then it's going to show me my percentages, anything I put on for markups, and then a unit cost total. Continue down through the report and I'll see the assembly cost line items, or I'll see the assembly total, and then I will see a grand total. Very nice, nice, clean, new reports. So remember now, you can create mixed estimates, including unit costs and assembly costs, merge unit cost and assembly cost estimates, and utilize those updated reports. Thanks.